Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are fine and today I will show you the interesting rook sacrificing game between Magnus Carlsen and me. Be more concerned with your character than your reputation, because your character is what you really are, while your reputation is merely what others think you are, so let's go, I started the game with e4, last time when I was 15 years old stockfish 15, I brought my rook like this to sacrifice it, but now I am 16 years old stockfish 16 so I want to try something new, I like to add some chili to the food to make it more delicious, so we have knight c6 rook a3 knight f6 and rook to f3. I will sacrifice my rook like this, Magnus Carlsen takes the pawn and I sacrificed the rook, any ordinary person might pee in their pants after seeing this unexpected move, here 69 LO rated player might play queen f3 check and miss the unguarded knight, but I am stockfish, god of chess universe and intelligence, I played queen h5 check, we have g6 with the idea to develop his bishop and the rook, we have queen d5 check, e6 can be played but he chooses to play king g7 which was absolutely okay. We have queen takes e4, d5 to grab the center, we have queen h4 bishop f5, d3 to block the diagonal and opening up the dark square bishop line, I want to play g4 because bishop f5 will not stand there for a long time, Magnus played h6 and he allowed me to plan my mission for free, my king pawns will attack to black kingside pawns and this h6 move unguarded the g6 pawn from back, so I started attack with g4, bishop e6 and you may think, the drac bishop is very deplorable, learn from the mistakes of others. You can't live long enough to make them all yourself, so bishop g2 to activate the bishop, queen d7 to target the pawn, knight c3 and if you dare to take the pawn, let me show you the variation, then after knight takes d5 black will play rook d8, knight f3, and here you may think that the bishop is in a very bad situation, so move the king to activate the bishop, let me show you the variation, then knight g5 check will come, it's a totally bad position for you, king backs knight e4. 200 elo rated player like you might play knight d4 to target the pawn with a check, but after knight d4 we sacrifice the knight on f6, takes takes and it will be a fork, game will be over for you, so back to the position, Magnus played rook d8 first, now he is threatening the pawn actually, knight can come to the center to pressure me in the queen side, queen g3 and here I so many strategy seeds in this position, this position is looks like the game of 2018 between alpha 0 and me. My first strategy is to push the pawn to f4 f5 to make pressure to the structure and tries to open the g file, my second strategy is to push the pawn to h4 h5 with knight f3 for a long run 4000 elo chess strategy, third strategy is to develop my pieces like this to target the rook by playing bishop c7 with queen support, then play knight f5 followed by knight takes knight. Bishop takes knight to check him and win back the rook simply, Magnus knows it because he is my subscriber, I don't know why my subscribers are so intelligent and amazing, we have knight before to target it, I ignored it and played knight f3 to go to the center, he takes the pawn, king d1 knight d4 to give me a knight exchange offer, I down a material, he is taking the advantage of it. Destiny is a name often given in retrospect to choices that had dramatic consequences, my destiny is clear to court the king with the right combination of my pieces with the right timing, so knight e5 queen d6 to pin, this may lead into a queen exchange so I pushed the f-pawn, here best move is to play rook g8 but he didn't find it, Magnus played blunder move queen b6, which is why I pushed the f-pawn, if you take it then after takes, I will target your bishop with a discover check, so bishop f7. f takes pawn and if you dare to take the pawn, then rook f1 will come with a dangerous threat, you may itch your stomach and play a6, then I will play knight takes bishop, takes then g5, try to open up the position, bishop g7 takes, the king escapes to h7 while peeing in the drain, and it will be made by capturing the bishop, so back to the position, we have queen b3 check first, king here queen c2, this is not a threat, the threat is to take the bishop on c1, so bishop d2 and look at my position. My king is totally secured, bishop g8 rook to f1 with a threat of playing rook f7 check, let me show you the variation, if queen takes pawn then I will play knight c4, sacking the knight, queen check king takes pawn bishop e4 check, the king have no square to go so after knight f5, I will capture it and it will be mate in e5 square, game will be over, 
Now you can throw your chess pieces and eat your board, so in this position we have knight b3 to target the bishop with a mating threat. Bishop e3 and look at my position again, black can't give me a single check to my king, that's my beauty of my chess gameplay, and his king is totally exposed, I am smarter than any human A-line dinosaur and donkeys like Levi Magnus and you, so chess friends, if you want to be smart in chess then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, we have queen takes b2 and you may go for a check, 100 elo rated player may play bishop takes check but the whole thing is that your knight. It is under attack so I moved back it, everything is protected so we have queen a1, g5 to open the position, if you push the pawn, let me show you the variation, then queen f4 will come, a6 then I will sacrifice the queen, you can subscribe the channel now if you didn't, it will be a dead checkmate by only two pawns, Magnus Carlsen will be roasted so back to the position, we have takes takes, rook f7 check is coming so we have bishop e6, rook f7, if you dare to take it, let me show you the variation. It's a totally dead position, game will be over by queen g6, so back to the position, we have king g8, g4 to target these. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.